Hello my soccer universe. Well, that's the first for the now Champions League, Europa League background, Champions League here, Europa League here. I'll explain a little bit more about how I chose these jerseys and how they are arranged in the next video where I do a little bit of preview of what's happening. But this video is all about me, yeah, being a little bit stupid or whatever. I went shirt hunting and I know now at the end of season sales we already got like Roma, a little bit of this Atalanta and so on. And I was looking for other jerseys that I really liked and yeah, I knew that they have them at my local sports store. For cheaper, as you see the bag is already empty because they are already on hangers while I'm presenting them to you. Um, since it's 1920 I'm also wearing the 1920 Milan jersey, which in a way was more or less my favorite. Well, I think one of these that I got is a, is in the top 10 jerseys of uh, 2019 above it. But yeah, let's go for the one that I really wanted then to get because you know I like navy jerseys. And well, my brothers will hate me for it and I'm not that fond of the team, but I have to say this Real Madrid jersey was one that I, when I saw it, I always liked it. I especially liked the pattern on there. I know it could be a sound wave, it could be the sea, it could be, I like to think of a galactic pattern like the Milky Way or so on, whatever it is, it's gorgeous together with the gold and so on. And I think the only reason why this didn't receive a higher grade of me is why is this black here and especially why is this black here? If these would have been golden, I think this would make for such a wonderfully balanced jersey. Uh, of course, it's empty. There's no La Liga patch. So there's a lot of stuff that you can add a Champions League patch or whatever onto if I get the time uh, and the desire to do so. But this is a jersey I really want to have. And although this is a monochromatic crest, I think it all fits very well. It's very, it, I call it, this is the Galactico jersey in many ways and Real Madrid are champions of Spain so I think it fits I just I only remember this was only the only time I saw this jersey where I mentally have it was at um, uh, Parc de Prince against PSG and yeah I also like these golden tags here I just wanna uh, now when I do this unpacking and reveal videos I just since these are authentic shirts I wanna just point a few things out First of all, this is the Climber Light version, which is on the bottom left and has this weird, um, before the C, this weird uh, accent. Not sure how much this is for authentic. Note here that the um, tags are exactly also on the left side uh, cut off. These are all washing instructions and there are four of these. Four of these right here. So in case you are looking at fakes, then I know this doesn't make much, but here the sizing details are very meager. And then the key thingy is the tag is on also on the left side in the collar. And what does it have? It has the Real Madrid logo. It has a little bit of what this climber light is supposed to do. All get kind of horse crap. Uh, then there's a double page and then it ends and again this here is just put on and you already see the price I paid 50 for it. Uh, honestly I couldn't find it cheaper online so that's why I go, went for here and then this is also very important you have this tag inside the collar where it says the date it was produced and if you google the I think either the second or third line of the code, and I will make a video on this one, and then I go uh, out. If you Google that number with Adidas, this jersey should put up, uh, should show up. And so this is the way you can tell, and there's also a code. So this should tell you that this is an authentic. Um, most fakes have tried to do something like that. They either get a wrong jersey, and usually it's the Columbia jersey, or uh, they put this tag in here. It used to be in here. It's not here anymore. It's now on the collar. And on this tag, the real tag is um, hung. So yeah, great jersey. I have to say, I really love this jersey. This, you know, most of the jerseys I got lately was because I needed need, need it for my channel. I don't need another Real Madrid jersey, honestly, for my channel. But this is a wonderful, beautiful jersey that I really wanted to have. And then the other one, yeah, we talk about the Parc de Prince game. 
It's the one that they wore. It's kind of funny that I bought so. This one, I always wanted to have it. Uh, upon seeing it, they had it, I think, for really cheap during the Corona crisis. Um, and it's one of the few Nike Futura third jerseys that I really, really, really enjoyed uh, and wanted to have. Um, yeah, it was the same price as the other one. Note now how the tags are hanging. You have on the right sleeve, you have the PSG and then this little standard fit type. And then on the left tag, on the left sleeve, you have to breathe the Nike and then this is a sticker again. I always want to say this. This tag, I made a video about it. Just note that the upper line doesn't go all the way through and how the stitching slightly changes where it goes, uh, where those horizontal lines are. These are the things you want to look out for. Uh, for this jersey, we have the sizing details also very minor and then white in here on the upper side of the collar. Um, I have to say, when I saw a review of this jer jersey, uh, they were all not too happy that uh, next to this stripe, which I absolutely love, and this was the original Nike look for PSG. PSG in the late 80s was wear wearing such a look. Then they have those diag diagonal stripes, which they found a little bit counting to it, but exactly this is how Nike produced the shirt back then. If you look at the... Uh, Ones from 89.990, they have also the, I'm a sucker for the off-center double band and then the diagonal and then it says Paris in there. Uh, it's a wonderful accent. I absolutely love this jersey. I wish, I think in match they put the sponsor a little bit to the left. I wish they would have done this on that one too. But yeah, it's a great jersey. Not the French flag here on the side. It's empty on the back, so plenty of stuff to play around with. I'm thinking also getting Champions League uh, customization for that one when I get the time and want to do that. So yeah, two new pickups. Let's put them next to each other. These are two of my favorite jerseys and then the one here as well. And you know, if they would have, would if PSG would have switched sponsor, they would have all be Fly Emirates, which would also be nice. Really, really nice jerseys. This picture, you have all the nice jerseys in there. So yeah, two pickups. I love them. Let me know what you think about them. I know many are not Real Madrid or PSG fans. As I said, these are jerseys that I absolutely love and I will love wearing it. The AS Roma jersey hanging over, over there that I got before. That's the one that I think is even better than the three of these. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!